Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are gonna be talking about the top six best fragrances for a job interview. So this is quite a controversial topic. I posted in one of the Facebook groups the other day saying, look, I've got a job interview soon and I want a fragrance that is gonna suit that job interview. And I listed uh, these seven fragrances uh, as kind of like a test uh, to see what people said was gonna be the best one. Uh, I did end up going with what we chose for the number one spot, but um, I have chosen a few of these before in other job interviews. Now, when I said this is a controversial topic, there was a lot of people in the group that were like, no, do not wear a fragrance to a job interview. And I might do a separate video for this because it's a very, uh, very kind of um, hit or miss topic. And I personally subscribe to the idea of you should wear a fragrance to a job interview, but I feel like you need to go really, really light on the sprays on a really, really light fragrance because you don't want the employer to be like, oh my God, he absolutely stinks. We're not gonna hire him. Um, funnily enough, one of my friends is a recruiter and he does a lot of one-to-one -one interviews. And the amount of people that he says come in wearing like 10 sprays of Dior Sauvage and like 10 sprays of Aventus and YSL EDP. Um, it just gets overbearing, it's too synthetic and it just gives him a headache, he says. Um, so don't be that person. <laughs> so the ones that I have included, I've made sure these are really light fragrances, they're very inoffensive, they're very subtle. Any one of these you could get away with wearing towards the job interview, but I just want to add this at the start of the video, do not do more than two sprays, two sprays is a maximum. Uh, what I do, and this is what I did whenever I had my job interview or previous job interviews, is one spray like that on the kind of chest slash tie area so that whenever you sit down, chances are they could smell you, um, but one spray just so it doesn't um, overpower. And because it's on the clothes, it won't project too much if it was on your skin and stuff like that. So I just want to add that at the start of the video. With that said, before we kick off the list, I do just want to say if you guys are a fan of fragrances and uh, you like my videos, please don't forget to go on and actually drop a like on this video and subscribe as well because um, because we're growing a really nice community here on the channel um, and also on Facebook and stuff like that. And we're more than happy to have you. Uh, we talk about fragrances. Um, any comments welcome as long as it's nice. Um, anything fragrance related, we're more than happy to talk about it. So yeah, uh, feel free to join. All you have to do is subscribe and comment saying that you've subscribed too. Okay, um, with that said, we are gonna kick things off in the honorable mention spot. It's the only one we've got. And the reason why I've put this one here, um, when I had it in the list, I had it in between the two and three spot, but I decided ultimately I'm not gonna include it just because it is discontinued. And I've talked about this fragrance on the channel before. Um, it's a very versatile fragrance. It's quite, soft, which is great for the topic that we're talking about. Uh, and the one that we are discussing, what fragrance, is this one here. And this is called Thierry Mugler Cologne, or as it's now called, Thierry Mugler Come Together. And I think they still do this, but if they don't, that's the reason why it's in the uh, honorable mention spot, just because it could be quite hard to find and discontinued. As you can see, I'm running really low <laughs> on my one. But Mugler Cologne, this <sighs> smells like a fresh bar of hand soap. And when you spray it on, it gives you a really nice uplifting green kind of feel. I think there's neroli in this, which gives it like a nice uh, clean floral note. Yeah, I've just checked on fragrance again. Neroli is the main note in this, uh, followed by bergamot and uh, pettigrin. So it is really nice and soft. Uh, it's quite green. Um, it's quite luxurious in a way. Uh, but it smells just like a fresh bar of soap. So one spray of this on the chest is perfect. This is also a really good gym fragrance too. I, I did use this as my gym fragrance, hence why there's hardly any left. And funnily enough, uh, a quick story on this one, because I've had this bottle for a very long time, I actually wore two sprays of this. Um, I broke the rule, I, I did one spray behind each, each ear. Uh, and I wore this for my first ever job interview and I actually did end up getting the job. Obviously, it wasn't only because of the fragrance, but maybe it could have helped, who knows. Uh, but it's super inoffensive, it's very nice. If you can get a bottle, 
uh, try and get the 300 milliliter bottle because you can you can spray this uh, as much as you like. It won't offend anyone. So coming at the honorable mention spot, Mugle Cologne or Mugle come together. Okay, so kicking off our list in the number six spot. This one is a very light citrusy fragrance uh, that again is very clean. It's very inoffensive. This is from the House of Asachi. It's not too talked about and it is quite cheap as well, which is quite cool. Is this one here, Versace Pour Homme. And just like how the liquid looks on this, it's very kind of fresh and clean uh, with almost citrusy smell to it. This has got a really nice citrus top to it. So you've got the lemon, you've got the bergamot and the roly as well in this one. Um, but it has got this weird, almost sweetness from, there's a tonka bean note in here. So it gives it like a kind of uh, powdery, vanilla-y sweetness, but not done, uh, not overdone. Uh, but it does give this almost detergent-like smell in a, in a good way. Uh, inoffensive if you don't overspray. I feel like you could overspray this one, which is why it's so low on the list. So coming in at the number six spot, Versace Pour Homme. Okay, next up, coming in at the number five spot. This one's probably the cheapest one on our list. And this one's been talked to death by Jeremy Fragrance. It's uh, a very cheap alternative to... Uh, Creed Original Santal, and it's this one here, Mont Blanc Individual. So there is so many notes in Mont Blanc Individual. This is, again, like a fabric softener smell, a little bit like this one, detergent smell. But this is done uh, in a kind of more, to me, a more professional way. This one's a little bit casual, a little bit too casual, uh, po probably for a job interview, but very light. Whereas this one's a little bit more professional, but a little bit more sweet as well, and a little bit more synthetic. And this reminds me of um, when I was working in an office, uh, I used to wear this quite a lot in the winter time. So if you have a job interview in the winter time, go with one spray on this. Uh, it could also be used for the spring. Maybe stay away from this one in the summer. It could get quite cloying. There's a cinnamon and vanilla and I think lavender in here, but it's got this really nice top note of raspberry, which gives it an almost synthetic smell in sweetness. So don't overspray on this one. But again, it's I feel like this one's professional, especially for a work setting, uh, but don't overspray. One spray on this one is just enough and it gives you a nice uh, raspberry detergent clean and smell, uh, which is what you want for a job interview. Okay. Next up, this is actually my scent of the day, um, now, that I, now that I think about it. This one is from the House of Creed. It's one that isn't talked about too much. Um, I feel that you could add any Creed fragrance in this list, but I wanted something that doesn't have too much personality to it, and too much like to remember it, re remember it by. Uh, and that's this one here, Creed Himalaya. So I've talked about this one before on the channel, Himalaya, I feel like is if you stripped everything away from stuff like Arolfa, stuff like Millicent Imperial, um, Original Santal, you would be left with this. And Himalaya, just gonna have a quick look at the note listing on this, is classed as a citrus woody fragrance. And wearing this as my scent of the day, it just smells powdery clean and it's very inoffensive. I don't, I've not had anyone say they dislike this, um, but it just smells like um, really professional in a nice clean way. You've also got a little bit of musk in there too from I think the gunpowder note, but this is probably the most neutral one on the list. Like it doesn't smell like soap. It doesn't smell like a, like a bubble bath. It doesn't smell like laundry detergent. It just smells uh, clean and almost uplifting. And one spray on this on the chest with the, this nice powderiness to it is really good. Uh, I really debated on whether or not I was going to wear this to my most recent job interview. I'm just going to smell it off from the cap. Yeah, man, super good. I get the bergamot and uh, the lemon in the top notes on, on this re really strangely. But yeah, like I said, you could go with any from the House of Creed. I just thought this one, because it doesn't project too much like Aventus does and stuff. It's not overpowering. Um, and it's just a really nice, safe DNA. Okay, coming in at the number three spot. This one I debated on being number two, 
uh, maybe number one, uh, but ultimately it's in the number three spot just because uh, if you overspray this, I feel like it could definitely give a headache, especially like in a in a closed room, like whenever you're in a job interview and it's just you and the employer on the other side of the table in like a compact space. If you oversprayed this, you could, uh, yeah, you could cause some headaches, I feel. But again, like I said, one spray is perfect. And this one from the house of YSL, that is this one here, Lom. And funny story about this one, even though it's not kind of job interview related, I would wear this to a job which I would go out and survey windows and doors for people. And you go into their house and, you know, you're talking face to face. And I needed a fragrance that wasn't too overpowering, um, was really kind of safe, very versatile. Um, and I ended up going with this one. And I think almost all of the uh, bottle that you can see I've, I've used from this was just from that job. So every time I smell it, it just reminds me of me driving in the car in the summertime whenever I was uh, going out to all these different houses and quoting up jobs. Um, but I still feel like you could get away with this uh, even in a job interview setting too. Uh, so this smells to me like a um, like you've just come out of like a bubble bath. Uh, it's uh, again an almost soapy clean fragrance, uh, super inoffensive if you go light on the sprays. Uh, it is a light fragrance itself anyway, but there's a note in here. It could possibly be um, the spices that they use, or it could be the tonka bean, perhaps, that give this, an, if you overspray it, like a, a really headachey uh, thing to you. But go easy on the sprays, and this is perfect for a job interview. So coming in at the number three spot, YSL Long. Okay, coming in at the number two spot. This one um, is another uh, niche one on the list from my favorite house. It has to be here in this list. Um, this was the second most voted one whenever I was uh, putting it in the group, what should I wear to this job interview? And if you want to make a, like a statement, if you're going for like a high-end role and um, you want to wear something that you know uh, no one's smelled before um, and you want to smell different in a way while still being safe, one spray, remember, um, that is from the house of Amouage, and I would probably only sometimes only wear one spray of Amouage if I was going out, like not even to a job interview. And that's this one here. I've worn a lot of this one, as you can see, and that's Reflection Man. <sighs> this doesn't smell like anything else in my collection. Um, Reflection Man is a very um, floral, powdery smell. Uh, it's again, some people compare it to like a fabric softener. There are also comparisons to uh, Le Mal or Le Mal, Le Mal by um, Jean Paul Gaultier. And I can kind of see what they mean by that with the cinnamon note that they use. But this is a very nice, clean, uh, inoffensive smell. To me, this reminds me of like the purple robes that a king would wear. But one spray of this is perfect. Don't go more than that. If you want to wear something different and you've got this in your collection uh, and you have a job interview, this is a great pick. So coming at the number two spot, you've got Amouage Reflection Man. One of my favorite from the house as well. And you can see just how much I've used from this one. And guys, coming in at the number one spot, this one uh, had to be here. I got so many votes whenever I uh, put this one in the Facebook group when I put the post up. So many people commented, you have to wear this one. It's the perfect job interview fragrance. And I can't disagree with them. It's super, super good. You can wear it for any occasion. So coming in at the number one spot, we've got this one here. Figment Man by Amouage. So Figment Man is an... Uh, no, I'm only joking. <laughs> Figment Man <laughs> is not. Uh, the number one spot. This thing smells... I'm just going to smell it from the cap. Jesus. <laughs> like dirt and urine. <laughs> Don't ever wear this uh, to a job interview or ever. <laughs> uh, this thing is crazy. <laughs> I need to do a review on that one. Um, but coming in at the actual number one spot, guys, it's the complete opposite to Figment Man. This is fresh, uplifting, clean, classy, professional. 
perfect for a white shirt, as I always say on the, on the, on the channel. And that's this one here, Prada Lom. Now you can go with any version of this one. I just happen to have the EDT version and I'm just gonna smell it real quick. It's just luxury. It's like a luxury hand soap, um, an even better version of Mugler Cologne. It's the considered the designer version of Reflection Man. Um, it's got this really nice powdery iris in here and it just gives it such a high class um, feel to it. And every time I smell this, I just envision wearing a white shirt. And if you go into a job interview, you want to make sure that you're dressing quite smart, such as, you know, a white tie and a shirt. And this thing just suits that perfectly. Um, it smells super clean, almost to the point where it smells like you're not even wearing an aftershave at all. It just smells like you smell clean. You smell like fabric uh, softener, like detergents and stuff. And you've just come out of the shower. You smell super clean as if you're not trying to overdo it. It's super safe too. One spray on this. Uh, I've got a funny story. I was driving back um, after picking this up. I was driving back from Scotland to uh, Wales in the UK, which is like an eight hour drive. And um, I bought this in the airport. Um, I picked up a car in Scotland and I drove it back down to Wales. And I wore this as my scent of the day for that day. And um, whenever I got in the car, I could still smell it whenever I got home. And I wore five sprays of this and I got the worst headache ever from wearing this whenever I did that trip. And I really didn't like this one for a while because I thought it was too headache inducing. But the lighter on the sprays you go, uh, the better it is, the more you kind of get whiffs of it and stuff. And this is just perfect, I think, for any office setting. Uh, any interview, if you go really light on the sprays, super good. Uh, leaves a good impression too, that you smell clean and fresh without trying to overdo it. So coming in at the number one spot is this one here, Prada Lom. So guys, that is gonna do it for this list. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember, as always, if you are a fan of the videos, then please don't forget to drop a like. If you made it this far, please feel free to comment down below your top three interview uh, fragrances. In a separate video, I will talk about this topic. Should you wear a fragrance to an interview? Should you not wear one? Um, it's something we'll really dive into uh, because like I said, I'm on the side that you should wear one. But again, you should wear it really light. Thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. That video is coming soon. I just have a few more fragrances that I have to get um, before I can film that video because I've got a few more new ones in. I wanna try them out and I wanna see where they come in my uh, entire collection ranked video. That video is also gonna take forever to film because uh, I've got over 60 fragrances in my collection. Uh, but with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video as always, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.